Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Arrested Development Season 1, Episode number 18. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, and please hit that notification bell. It does help with the algorithm. <laughs> A couple of comments for Episode 17. <laughs> Starting with Executive Producer JoJo, who says, Two full episodes to lead up to the dad joke that justice is blind. Now that's commitment to comedy. Yeah, that is a... Dad joke. Yeah. And then executive <laughs> producer Alyssa says, OMG, what a twist. Justice is blind. I thought Maggie was pretending to be blind just for Michael so she can gather more evidence. I thought so too. But this was much more interesting and shocking. And typically this should be a mistrial because without the lead prosecutor, they will have to start again, surely. Mm -hmm. Also, no one will believe her BS about Bible uh, restoring her eyesight. And they will also charge her with multiple crimes as a result <laughs> as she prose prosecuted yeah. uh, will go free. And, and everybody, yeah, everybody she prosecuted got to be released. OMG, what's wrong with all the lawyers and the law enforcement agencies in this show? Because they are all lunatics. But yeah. my highlight was Tom and Jerry scene between Maggie and Tobias because knowing she's not really blind makes the scene pure gold. Can't wait for mm -hmm. the next one. Yeah. Alright, let's get to episode 18 right now. The local colleges are on spring break and things are heating up in Newport Beach. George Michael was off from school for two weeks and was enjoying spending time with his uncle. I'm intercepting some telepathic energy that's telling me it's the Eight of Diamonds. That's amazingly close. Gee, I got it wrong. Well, I guess you won the shirt off my back. Okay, that's amazing. It's the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, I had But I mean, if that had been the actual card, I'm pretty sure I'd be almost too blown away. <laughs> That's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a new trick, so I'm still kind of tweaking right now. The presentation was... <laughs> the presentation, the presentation was great. <laughs> George Michael, you should get to school. No, we're off for two weeks, Dad. Joe's teaching me some new tricks. Spring break! <laughs> they get two weeks on spring break? Nothing gets me more excited. No, I can see that. Look. You might want to button that shirt. No, I'm good. Anyway, listen, Michael, Bam. um... I need that was to on his shirt. Kind of made a commitment. One year earlier, Joe had appeared on a youth-oriented music network when they did a segment on Spring Break, Newport Beach. No, no, I got your attention. Wait, I thought it was a new joke or a new trace. Yeah, he's been doing this. I shall make that beautiful yacht disappear. Wow, he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, well, he hasn't done it, and uh, you're holding four spades in your hand. Yeah, I don't care. I'm loving the ride, you know? I'm loving the ride. So how are you going to do it? Well, you've got two weeks off. You're about to find out. Maybe we'll meet a couple young co-eds along the way. How young is too young for you? Okay. There's okay. Not okay. There's not going to be any co-eds. There certainly isn't going to be. Have you had a chance to type up that report yet? No, I have been googling your father. So I've heard. So I've heard. <laughs> You've been out for two weeks with this. He's like a master's course unto himself. So you think I'm a coward? Only one man I thought I'd call a coward. That's Brian Doyle Murray. No. What I'm calling you is a television actor. And so Tobias <laughs> remained in prison as Lindsay and Maybe arrived at Nanny's. Now we're going to a TV actor. But all the ten of the videos will return. I heard Kitty back. Okay, for the company. No, no. <laughs> it is kind of a funny thing. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Kitty knows it all. There's just absolutely no purse that will go with this outfit. Got a little pocket there, I know. I know. <laughs> That's not getting old. Where's Nana? I sent her on a wonderful cruise. You just missed a wonderful call from her. She just came back from a wonderful costume party that the captain threw. She gained 10 pounds. There's so much food on that boat. She's up to 74. It's a wonderful child. 74 pounds! Wow. In fact, Lucille's mother had been dead for six months. She tried pesto for the first time. Oh Can my God. Can you believe that? 92 years old and she never tried pesto. Lucille feared that the family would come after the inheritance if they found out. Was she on the phone, Anya? Anya? Emily Boyd? Isn't he great? And he goes with everything. 
He knows where everything. Joe was adjusting to a new companion of his own. But that's not the end of the trip. There's a big surprise coming. Take your t-shirt off, please. What? Oh, you changed the trick. It's, it's a different trick. Now, if I roll up this t-shirt, put it in this hat... No! Hey, George Michael. Hang on, Dad. We're right in the middle of something. And if you'd be so kind as to expose your breasts... No, 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 no. no, no. What the hell are you doing? Dad, it's misdirecting. You're supposed to keep your eye on the shirt and the hat. Get down, <laughs> Michael Stanley. Right Come on. Uh... Buddy, what are you doing here? I'm dying to see how he makes this yacht disappear. He's not going to make the yacht disappear. I told him that. No, it's driving me crazy. It's like a mind puzzle, an awesome mind puzzle. It's a mind puzzle. Michael looked at his son and saw that he truly was inspired by his uncle. That perhaps the boy actually admired him. The boy. I I'm going to meet you out of here. You're going to come work with me at the office. Go wait in the stair park. Hey, why don't you explain something to me? I'm out looking for Kitty, and I find my son in the middle of the girls with low self-esteem video. Oh, don't worry, he's gonna be coming with the blue dot. Look, he approached me, and as for Kitty, I think you're crazy to have fired her. Who knows what kind of information she has? Mm. It's my brother, and he's never even said good job. I just wanted to love me, you know? Wow, you get really girly after her. Yeah, she doesn't know what too much. <laughs> because you guys keep sleeping with her. Yeah. <laughs> Right. I'm a cocktail man in her mouth. All right. I'm going to go take care of that. In the meantime, stay away from my son. Wow, oh, Michael, I'm really hurt. It's family. What's more important than family, Michael? This yacht? Of course not, Joe. I hate the government. You hate White Power Bill. I hate my father. Recreation. All prisoners, one hour. Go get him. Oh, I get fire. You want to go You have no firing or hiring power. No authority over here. Yeah. They don't have nachos here. You know what, Kitty? Why don't we forget it? Because I've been trying to be very, very generous to you, and you don't respect me. So I'm firing you, okay? You are fired. All right, Michael. But I know where things are, and you don't, and you are asking for a whole world of trouble. If you're threatening me, you're going to be very sorry. Are you threatening me? Yeah, that's a threat. I'm threatening you. Did you hear that, everyone? Michael Blue is threatening me! Can't be a part of the story. Can't be a part of the story. Say goodbye to your company, Michael. Is that somebody we're supposed to know? Uh, Say goodbye to these, because it's the last time. A woman chose all during a fracas. Oh, this is oh, on the news. It's on the news. I can't be a part of the story. No, 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 no. George Michael was working harder than ever over his spring break, filling in for the now twice fired kid. Look at us, working together. You get the hang of this, and this could be your summer. Well, I don't, I don't know, Dad. I really wanted to see Joe's magic show. I know you don't. Isn't this much more fun? No, you don't. Oh, my God. You, that? you know, it's just there was some other... Thanks, Laura. Good afternoon, Blues Company. Talk you off. Talk you off what? Pop, pop. Here's Michael. Oh, hey, I'm talking Talk you off. Talk, Talk you off. Oh, I think I fired her again. Yeah, he wants to talk to you. Well, I want to. You. Remember to let Steve for five minutes. Oh, dear God. I've been in this family for 16 years, and I don't think we've ever... If I find anything in here. <laughs> <laughs> he's a human person. He's a person. Because he goes with everything, right? Oh, no. How'd you do it? Michael? The magician never reveals his. I sunk it! I yeah. sunk the yacht! I think, I think I sunk it. I mean, I blew it up. And I, I mean, that's what his daddy wanted to get rid of. Was it my throat? Oh, you're right! You sank the yacht? You sunk a $700,000 yacht? $900,000 worth of insurance on it? And got rid of the evidence. Come on, good job! Seeing a window of opportunity, oh. Lucille made a startling announcement. Nana was on that yacht! What? You killed Nana! See the opportunity. She's fine! Nana wasn't on that yacht, she's fine! How did she get she just... Lindsay had learned this information when she spoke to the family's what? personal banker. Later, fearing that Lindsay was on Lindsay her, all she spoke to the bank. bank herself. Well, there must be somewhere I can put this money where it can't be touched. I suppose you could keep it in your purse. Very funny, but I'm not carrying a purse. Where's the money, Mom? I want the money. Well, you can't have it. It's in a trust fund for Anyang, and no one can touch it but me, and I retain control of it until he's 18. 
Oh, I just don't know what's more offensive. The fact that you didn't tell us about our grandmother's death, or that you sunk a $700,000 yacht. Stop lecturing me. I just lost my mother. I'm so glad that Six you were months ago. to see any of this. Six months ago. Suzelle is the worst. Um, well, if he's not here, I just think I am much better off here alone in this office. Michael realized what he had done to his son, so he came up with a solution. You're fired. Really? Can you fire me? Can you fire me? Because you don't have fire. Thanks, Dad. Are you sure you're going to be okay without Kitty? Don't you worry. She'll turn up. Oh, she made it. And she got the evidence. On the Damn next it. Arrested Development, Lupe makes a startling discovery. Oh. So that makes on young 18. And Michael oh, finds himself in the middle 18. of the search for a missing kitty. Well, we have a restaurant full of people saying that you threatened kitty the last time she was seen. How does anybody even remember this? She showed her knobs in the steakhouse, sir. Everyone remember that moment. All right, it was episode 118 of Rest of Development. Um, it was a it was a pretty entertaining episode, you know, standard operating procedures. They got into some shenanigans on there. Um, a lot of misdirect, you know, with the um, um, uh, with the grandma not being there. I didn't know what was gonna happen with that, but then it was just yeah, six months ago. Then she finally tried to use it. I like the boat being blown up. I thought the evidence was gonna be taken with her, and maybe they was gonna take it. Nope, it's still there, so it's gonna be lingering. Um, that it still exists. So all that was for nothing. But I did have a good time with this episode, man. Um, I thought Michael Sarah did st stand out again about you know being just being him, his his normal self, and then his brother trying to do the magic. I, I don't know. I mean, his uh, uncle trying to do the magic. I mean, I don't know if this is ever going to be a thing or if this is just his thing always to be bad at the magic but I like it and I also like Tobias in the prison running shit now as Dorothy so that's gonna be good to keep going back to until he get out of there uh, other than that though I had a good time with the episode can't wait till the next one yeah I think Tobias um, taking over Dorothy. as Dorothy was fucking hilarious that was really smart and I didn't see it coming and I appreciated that a lot that he had some authority in that space and could finally be in a position which he in which he could talk to his father-in-law mm -hmm. um, I don't think he earned a lot of credibility though uh, from his father-in-law, but we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. But honestly, my absolute MVP award for shittiest human alive goes to Lucille because the, the fact that she tried to utilize the opportunity of the blowed up ship she to be like, that's, that's when she died is so bad. And the fact that she's kept the secret just so she can uh, yeah. keep the money for herself. Um, but it looks like she's going to get her uh, come up because uh, oh, yeah, he's already 18 so that shit uh, he can access his own shit now so we'll yeah. have to see how that plays out but literally yeah. the fact that she tried to utilize that moment was like jaw dropping like no she did it yeah but she did because she will do that so another fun. great episode can't wait for the next yeah. one all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for arrested development season one episode 18 and until next time people peace